Hey there, my friends. So a lot of you have been writing wanting to know more about this exciting new shoulder rest. So I thought I'd do this quick video to answer any more of your questions and show you a little bit how it works. So let's dive right in. First, this is the back of my 1830s Roca. And you can see in the reflection of the light, there are no marks whatsoever, just the delicate varnish and a slight shine. Now it's important to note because the next part is key. Simply put the shoulder rest on, press it down on either side, and the easiest way to figure out where to put it is kind of match curve to curve, and you'll see there it is. It's not going anywhere. I'm shaking it side to side, up and down. There, there's no movement whatsoever. Now all you have to do is pick it up, place it where you normally would, in between your collarbone, your jaw, and your chin, and you're done. I really use the analogy of having your instrument be kind of on lifters or risers. Because you'll see, like let's say this is the thickness of your instrument, now all of a sudden you're getting this kind of thickness. And it's essentially like you can play without anything and it absolutely becomes a part of your instrument. And because it weighs less than one ounce, 20 grams, it adds negligible weight, almost zero weight to the back of the instrument. When you're done playing, those of you who are asking, it's glued on, how do I take it off? Well, you just peel it off. Now remember the before of my varnish? No marks. Everything is exactly the same. So we're using a special glue that is very easily applied with a brush, kind of like you would nail polish, and it's non-harming to the varnish at all. Now another question that folks have been asking me is, do you, does it come in different sizes? Do you have a viola version? Not necessary. One size fits all. Now the G model will come in three different size feet. We have low, medium, and high. I happen to use a medium, which is 25 millimeters in thickness. We're gonna also offer it in 20 millimeters and 30 millimeters. So you can work with the height this way, but the point of contact remains the same. So the idea of those of you who are used to a bar shoulder rest going completely across the instrument is not necessary because this covers just what you need it to in the collarbone area, you see? That's all you need. You don't have to go all the way over here, and you don't have to go all the way over here. And that's very, very important to note. Now, this is literally the most exciting product that I've come across for us violinists in many, many years. And that's why I'm not only endorsing it, but I'm helping to sell it to give it greater exposure. Since I've started using it, I've had more freedom. My instrument sounds better. I'm practicing more because I'm less fatigued. And that kind of excitement is what I want to bring to all of you. It's completely handmade in Chile from Chilean redwood that is precisely laser cut according to the Fibonacci golden proportions. And then it's hand finished. Everything is sanded and finished by hand with varnish. The cork feet are from Portugal and the foam discs are made of such a material that they conform to the back of your instrument after a few weeks once you start using it, so it really becomes one. There will be no gaps between the back wood and the feet themselves. And there's a little bit of cushion, so let's say when you're down shifting or up shifting, you're gonna be able to have that support and have it come with you. So I hope that answers your questions. Please DM me with any more of your questions and of course pre-orders, we're taking them. Marcelo is working as fast as he can to produce as many of these as possible and um, it's just really, really exciting and uh, like nothing else I've come across and I hope that uh, as many of you get to experience this and feel just a whole new way of, um, of playing your instrument. So, talk to you soon. Thanks.